Hello folks and welcome to Pokemon Go ladies and gentlemen. We got some pretty insane news happening on the August content update which is going to be rolled out for five star raids. So Reggie Draco is going to be gone on August 4th and next is going to be Cresselia on August 4th to August 16th. And then after Cresselia, it's going to be Exernius coming up on August 16th through the 23rd. And Exernius will know Geomancy. And Yvalto learn a new move. Oblivion Wing is going to be coming up on through September 1st. And that will all be coming up at 10 a.m. local time. Plus, there's going to be Primal Raids coming up on August 23rd through August 26th is Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. Is going to be coming on later after Go Fest in person is over. There's going to be primals coming back. They're going to be starting at 10 a.m. local time. And so take advantage with the primals because Primal Groudon is by far the best primal to use for raids. Also, Pokemon Go Fest Global is going to be happening in the next month or so. So let's talk about it. So. Primal Raids actually come back for August 26th and August 27th at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. But in August 27th, it's going to end at 11 a.m. So after that, it's going to be Mega Rayquaza is going to be coming to its debut on Pokemon Go Fest Global coming up at 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on August 27th. So with raid hours, it's going to be Reggie Draco on August 2nd, Cresselia on August 9th, Exernius on August 16th, and the Primal Kyogre August 23rd. And the next day after Kyogre is going to be Primal Groudon on August 24th. So please do not forget that. Uh, Uvelto coming up on August 30th. So spotlight hours are going to be coming up is Vulpix. August 1st, we'll know two times the XP for evolving Pokemon. Then we got Paris at August 8th going for two times the Stardust for catching Pokemon. And we got Stuffle coming up for two times the XP for catching Pokemon. And Venomoth for August 22nd coming up on two times the candy for catching Pokemon. And then we got Tentacool on August 29th, two times the candy for transferring Pokemon. So the monthly bonuses, let's actually talk about this because this is very, very important when you spin or when you catch your streaks. So there's going to be increased rewards for seven day Pokemon cast streak. And it's going to give you 20,000 XP and 10,000 Stardust. Next up is going to be increased reward for seven day Pokestop spin streak. It's going to be just 20,000 XP. So that's actually very, very great. Take advantage of all of this because XP grind is going to be insane. So with these research breakthroughs, they are still around until September 1st. So Sableye, Beldum, Adino, Furfru, Gloomy, and Noibat will be there on research breakthroughs. And now for events, there's going to be events coming up and let's actually cover something that has already been announced just today. August Community Day Froki is actually coming up on August 13th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. And also so the feature attack with Greninja. So you have to evolve Frogadier into Greninja. So Greninja will know the charge attack Hydro Cannon. And this will be 80 power for Trainer Battles and Gym and Raids 90 power. Now for the fast attack move, it's going to have a new fast attack move. Not just a charge attack, but a new fast attack called Water Shrieken. So it looks like Water Shrieken is going to be very, very powerful for six power on trainer battles and gym and raids 10 power. So here it is. We got a community day special research story is going to be coming up real soon. We don't know the name of this yet, so we'll keep moving forward. And for four star raids are going to be coming up from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
local time. It's gonna be Frogadier. You'll be able to do four star raids for those and they will give you more brokies for, for the gems. That will be rated for 30 minutes. That will be spawning for 30 minutes. Now, for event bonuses, they're gonna be three times Jardos for catching Pokemon and two times the catch candy for Pokemon and also the two times chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive XL candy from this Pokemon and also instance is included no daily adventure instance and then a few snapshots during community day for a surprise also one additional special trade can be made and a maximum of three per day and then also trades will acquire 50% less Stardust. So that is insane. Very excited for Froki as a shiny coming up. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this announcement. We'll be talking about more about these events for August content coming in for the next videos. So I will see you guys in the next Pokemon Go. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go. Laters, bye!